Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari <laughs> games. And tonight we're going to be playing some 8-bit games. Four 8-bit games. Mm -hmm. And one of them online. We're going to be racing that's some people online. Totally cool. In a I, racing I, game. I can't. I know. That's very cool. <laughs> um, last time we played online <clears throat> was for the 2600. Was that that... When it, you it was, attempted it with Darcy? Yeah. I mean, that was that was very rudimentary because it was the first time... And it didn't quite work, but it was neat. It was the first time anybody had ever played any game online on a 2600. Yes. So that was kind of cool. This yeah. one's a bit more advanced. This yes. one works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that, one's, that one's still in the works, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you like this one? Yeah. This one's a nice one. Very colorful. It's a bit uh, rough of a print, but it's okay from a distance. It looks nice. It, well, so, it has yeah. a soft glow to it. Like, yeah. it makes wah, it look wah. like neon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very cool. So tonight we're going to be playing 8-Bit Slicks online with some people. I know some people in the chat are already setting it up. So hopefully they're ready mm. and it works. <laughs> we'll see. Um, uh, that is an Atari 8-Bit game. We're going to be playing also Cosmic Arc, uh, Fishing Derby, and <clears throat> Frostbite. 400. Oh, and all okay, three of cool. those are conversions from 2600 games. Yes, I think I've played both Frostbite yep. and well, uh, what is it? Cosmic, Cosmic Arc. Arc. Yeah. yeah, it's one where you Fishing suck up Derby, the beasties from the planet. So, but, yeah, Fishing Derby is a very old one, very simple game. Mm. You're just relaxing and fishing and cool. stuff. So, oh, cool. um, and we'll talk about the conversions that the people did uh, for those games mm. as we get to them. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers, of which we have the most ever. I can guarantee that. We almost have 60, which is yeah. amazing. And they're scrolling right down there. <laughs> yes, they are. Right down beside Tanya. Oh, yes. Woo! Uh, down beside. Alnifer, Coder, Atari 800 XL Rules, Atari Age, BR Pocock, Buck Owens, Charles and Chai, Charles Whelan, Chive 5, Chris Albright, Cro Coffee Cup Arcade, DNI, Dan FC, Drexel, Dr. Moo, Cavs, Great Offender, Go Ground Trooper, Joe Rapper 2600, Ivory Tower Collection, Johnny WC1, Yorada, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Croco 2600, Lauren TDZ, uh, Mark Space Egg, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Miss Commander K. Smith, Mr. Zerner, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Storm, Neo Media, Packard, VG Cog, R. Anschwitz, RC70, Rendered Ghost, <gasps> Repentless, VG6 Suite, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice, Where S. Ramirez, The D Train, The Welsh Man, Tiki Dan K, TM Events, Token Mantra Trek MD, Vitoko, X Ken X, and Yorgi's Castle. Thank it's you. It's getting a bit long there. <laughs> Marco Twitch55 for following. Yay! And just before the show. Was there someone else who jumped in? Uh, Somebody resubscribed, and it was S. Ramirez. S. Ramirez, yay! 31 months. Thank yeah. you so much. Adrian Booty followed you. Adrian Booty, thanks for Adriana following. Booty. Adriana Booty. We don't want to there get that go. wrong. That's correct. Um, and you look at the numbers, followers, 951 followers now on Twitch. Nice. We just surpassed the threshold um, on this show. Wow. So it was 949 okay. last show. Last yeah. show. And nice. I think that number will creep up because two people just followed. Yeah, that's awesome. Please repeat. No, you'll have no. to rewind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Sorry, I didn't catch that list. Yeah. <laughs> um, so tonight we're going to be playing 8 bit slicks. And if anybody mm. wants to join us, you can, even if you don't even have an Atari computer, because oh. they've supplied a build of Altira, which is an 8 bit emulator okay. that will emulate the online cartridges that are used to communicate oh, wow. with the servers. So you go to their website, 8bit-slicks.com. If you want to do this right now out there and race us in a couple minutes. Um, so you need to download that and download the game, which mm. are both on their website. Mm. Thank you, 48K RAM. Okay. There it is. And make sure you also register on their website with your four-letter four username as well. And then you'll get a confirmation and and because that'll be used when you log in on the game and you have to log in on the game and then you can race us in about 15 minutes or so That's cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah so That's very cool. 48k ram says they have it ready and okay. installed so we at least have one person to race okay. against so Yay. hopefully Excellent. everybody else can do it as well um, but if you have a real computer you can use the uh mm. dragon cart i think think that's what it's called i only know it from this uh system uh, from this game i haven't heard of that before and also um you can also use what i have oh names are eluding me right tonight what is the other one called uh fujinet 
Fujinet or a Dragon Cart. Um, so you can use either of those. Yeah, Dragon Cart is the other net adapter for the Atari 8-bit. Um, so uh, try and go get that set up and you can race us tonight. Uh, I have a poll question for everyone out there. Uh, so let's get that going. Start the poll. Boom. So you just mm -hmm. type in one, two, three, four, five. Um, so the question is, besides how fun a game is... Which, which is fundamentally the most <clears throat> important part. That's why I excluded it. Yeah. Because <laughs> everybody would just vote, yeah, it's for fun. Yeah. Always fun. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the next most important thing for you in a game? Okay. Because that kind of... Pr it prompted me to ask this question because of the... The other three games we're going to be playing tonight, okay. which are 2,600 conversions to the 8-bit system. Gotcha. And somebody was saying, why didn't you upgrade the graphics or the sound when you converted it? And mm. the person wanted to make a complete, like a exact port. Replica, almost, yeah. of it. Yeah. Um, and, and they said, I'll quote them later, but they said, it's because these games are fundamentally fun. There's no need yeah. to do that. Yeah. Hmm. Um, so the options are, one, graphics. Mm. Two, music or sound. That's pretty significant. And music too. Yep. Yeah. Three, controls. How how good it controls. Number mm -hmm. four, the story or the concept, like just what the game is, mm. like the story behind it. Or five, the uniqueness of it. Mm. Like if, if you like like really strange or new games, and because we play a lot of those a lot of strange and unique games because it always harks back harkens There's back to something... the eighties, which is games back then were just yeah, crazy. Yeah. Games now are like it's a first-person shooter. It's realistic. Yeah. That's all you get. Yeah. yeah. The uniqueness of a game really, I think, makes you want to go back to it. Yeah. You know, you're it's not got getting, some strange concept, if you're got it, right? If you're getting some kind of experience out of it that you don't get every day, it yeah. kind of, like, that originality kind of pulls you back. But yeah. it still has to work, and it still has to play well. 8-Bit Dude you know? likes the, the sprite or sound flicker. <laughs> so you like that <laughs> old school striving to barely like, 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 get it on the screen. Well, that kind of comes to graphics and aesthetics, <laughs> yeah. right? Like graphics, the, yeah. the aesthetics of it too, right? Yeah. Um, hmm. I mean, fun is number one always. Graphics don't matter as much because I've played games with blocks that are just amazing. Mm, mm -hmm. Like astounding games with big blocks. Mm -hmm. uh, music and sound. I've played silent games that are fun. And that's fine. But yeah. I will point out, you go back to some of these old games and you have one of those uh, Activision beautiful sunsets in yes. the background or the rainbows. That adds a lot because it's light and nice And to you're look just at. like, wow. Like, it just adds something to it. So I know you're you're saying, oh, graphics aren't that important, but it can, it can bring be. you to a game. Like, yeah, it can attract you to the game. Or, and again, or and the aesthetics it of it can really play into it. And, and a lot of people are voting for yeah. three, and I understand f controls kind of go yeah. into fun because if the controls aren't oh, there, yeah. it's not fun. Yeah, splendid. Not bad controls equals not fun. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. very true. That's and very true. I, and I've played some really good games that are really bad control, and you're fighting the control the whole way. And it's like, well, if the control was better, I would enjoy the game more. Well, like, and, uh, the, like the challenge shouldn't be wrestling with the controller. Yeah. Right. And to and to the, to bring maybe a slightly more modern example. Yeah. Witcher 3. Yeah. One of my favorite games. Oh, you had trouble also with controls. Also loving this show. But the controls are so friggin' weird in that game. <laughs> you can't go back and forth to other games. It's uh, like playing between like the Xbox or the PS and the, the Switch, are where the A and B buttons are backwards. It's but like, Witcher ah. has like really the controls are really not intuitive, and uh, so you can only play that game. I find personally because I don't adapt that quickly. And they're not remappable either. No, mm -hmm. which is so weird. I don't know why that every game doesn't yeah. make. Their controls remappable. Yeah. RC70. I just started Witcher <laughs> 3 this week. I hate the controls. It's weird. And once you're used to it, it's fine. But then you can't play anything else. Yeah. Because a lot of modern games use the triggers for shooting, for hitting. Oh, but it yeah, uses yeah. the buttons, if I recall. And I just remember just hating going back and forth. Yeah. Anyway. Um, number four, story or concept. I don't think that's as important for me. Because the game can be fun without even knowing what it's about. What the backstory is. But backstories can really enhance a game you go yeah. oh wow it's about this and this depends on the game if you're playing an rpg <laughs> the story is a big part of the game it's everything almost. it's it's a it's a world right yeah. but if you're playing like a little puzzle game it's not that important doesn't matter fit the but puzzle like, pieces together think of, think of games uh like us playing ricky and vicky that yep. little backstory to that Added is wonderful it's yep. wonderful it adds so much to the game so bad controls 
i.e. original Intellivision and 5200 controllers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they get frustrating. Mm. Yeah, and make you want to just not play. Mm. Um, and uniqueness. Um, that, that can draw you into a game, but it, the other things have to keep you there. Yeah. Uh, I, I maybe shouldn't have put controls on here because I'm going to pick controls. Captain Classic, please list three games that have bad controls that are fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I just mentioned Witcher 3. Because, and, and again, this is... That can be Not fun. retro. And you can get used to it's it. It's fun and you get used to it, but it's still bad. You yeah. know, it's You'll never bad. forget that it has bad it controls. It has bad controls, yeah. Um, but getting rid of <laughs> controls... I, mm. Oh, I don't know. Uniqueness? Maybe I would go for five if the controls weren't there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what my choice would be. Um, uniqueness stands out. I mean, fun encompasses so many things. Oh. But uniqueness kind of pushes me ba towards playing games. Bad controls, but funny. Every isometric specy game. Yeah, it's like up equals up and right. Oh. Left equals left and up. It's oh, like, God. Oh. It's like, uh, no, up equals left and up. Down equals left. And it's like, oh my God. Can, Even, it's like you and Qbert, right? I hate Qbert. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> just. Yeah, putting it out there. It's my hot take. Yep. No, don't like it. Um, up to jump. Oh, terrible. Is is another one that but, is so common in retro games. But I mean, there's only one but it, buttons it, on, on. It's, it's you, again, it's one of those things you have to get used to. Once you're used to it, it's fine. But then if you go back to another game, I always find it's like this brain lag sometimes when you're flipping between yeah. controls. So, keyboard, uh, everyone. <laughs> it's, yeah. Uh, so we'll uh, take a look at the results in a bit. Um, mail news and feedback. No mail. <laughs> I've I haven't been ordering any uh, video games. Mostly our home. Con, he says, home, yeah. home theater system. He says he's not, it. and then all of a sudden a package arrives. Well, so. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it take a long time. To you come can here. talk a little later in 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 the show yeah. about the stuff you have been ordering since Christmas. Yeah, so yeah. 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 Um, the Atari Homebrew Awards are coming. Yeah. Well, Actually, in a week. What? People start voting. Oh God. Well, still, still big. <laughs> I don't have my outfit yet. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, you still have a, a almost a month for that. Good. Um, so the nomination committee is well underway okay. in evaluating hundreds of games across lots of platforms. 2600, 5200, 8 bits, 7800, and Lynx, which is new this year. So they're evaluating all these games and picking their favorites. Mm -hmm. And the public voting starts next Friday. And next Friday, we'll be announcing the nominees. So the top six in every category. Mm. Um, mm. for each of the systems so we'll be announcing those Darcy will be here for that so you won't be mm. able to be here for announcing but you'll be here for the awards giving them away that's and fun. you'll be playing the best the nominated oh, games that's my, that's, oh, I love that part over of the next the, month that's, I yeah. love that part of the ramp up to the, that is to the awards yeah. Um, so yeah we have 17 categories across all those different platforms and so the top six will be revealed next Friday. You guys start voting. Uh, I start, I just let it go, the votes, right after we announce all the nominees next Friday. Mm. And the polls will be open. Um, so everybody out there will be able to vote on them if you're not on the nomination committee. I know a bunch of people that watch the show are on the nomination committee. <laughs> um, so I'll be giving more details on the next show and next Friday as well mm. when the voting opens. Um, so let's take a look at some news here. Bank set bank switching. And this is for the 7800. Revenge uh, posted this. Hi, all. I've been writing a small doc at 7800.8bitdev.org on the new bank switch scheme Fred Batari and I both devised for Petsky Robots, which mm -hmm. is being developed for the 7800, which we had the world debut a couple weeks ago about that. And it has been updated to color now. It's awesome. I can't show the video okay. on the stream because it is private behind the facebook group which oh, is I see, I see. a okay. private group you have to sign up for sign it up so i'm group. respecting that until okay. it's public public i okay. can't show the video fair enough, fair enough. um da, 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 um called bank sets the petsky robot tile graphics use up more than 36k of rom and all of that and more needs to be an address space for maria to draw the game screen thank you blip squeak for following glad Yay. you enjoyed the show um it's not hyperbole to say the game wouldn't have been possible without bank sets. And I think the bank sets will open the doors to other games with higher level of graphic and code complexity. And uh, some people 
chimed in below that are developers mm -hmm. and they said um carl g said yep lots of possibilities come to mind for this i know it would make a penalt 7800 port a lot easier mm -hmm. that's exciting uh cool stuff old style says who's developing the mario brothers port oh yes there are great contributions and schemes springing up from your projects i'm definitely looking forward to taking a crack of the bank sets when it's ready and Muddy Funster said, I'm ex very excited to see this. About 15 projects that I previously pushed back as too complex to juggle the graphics have just come back to the front burner. 15 projects from Muddy Funster. I know he does like 15. <laughs> 10 a year. So <laughs> wow. that's going to be right. a lot of stuff. Uh, so I think that's going to allow for some very complex 7800 games to come down in 2022. Mm. Um, so the basics for this, uh, it says presently two times 128 bank sets are the largest supported carts. If bank switching isn't desired, bank switch boards also support two times 32, two times 48 and extended two times 54. This is talking about the new, where is it in here? Right here. So this is what it can support. Um, in cart RAM, bank sets carts can optionally use 32 K of in cart RAM. Um, and so you can read all about it on those pages if you're a developer. If you're not a developer, you're probably like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I barely know. So, um, But it is very, very cool. It allows for bigger games, mm. uh, more storage on a cart, more accessible storage, actually, because I believe they can switch back and forth easily or access both banks more easily or more banks easily. Um, Another exciting development, Champ Games, uh, announced, well, they said, now we have 11 games. So these go to 11, which is very clever. Um, Champ Games cranks it up to 11 with the release of Ladybug Arcade and Robot, Robot War 2684. But the devil was in the details. <laughs> uh, Champ Games responded um, to Jurgen Oster saying, I'm very excited to see more elevator action as, and Tutankhamun. Yes, Tutankham looks awesome, as I loved playing them back in the days. And then Champ Games replied, We actually started a reboot of Elevator Action just a few mm. weeks ago. The 2017 version uses bus technology that unfortunately isn't stable on all Atari systems, but allowed for very detailed graphics. And we had the world debut of the bus version of Elevator Action yes. work in progress. Okay. Back in 2018, a okay. long time ago. Okay. But it didn't progress because it's not compatible across every variation of 2600. Some it just doesn't work. And I know a lot of developers are like, well, if it doesn't work on every single system, we can't develop for it because people will put this in their system and go, it's broken, and send it back or complain. Hmm. So it's best that it works across everything. So it was kind of given up the bus technology. But the, he says, we have decided to move forward using CDFJ, same technology used for Galagon, uh, Zookeeper, Kicks, etc., which will mean less detailed graphics, but the same planned gameplay sounds and extra features. That's so good. that's very, very exciting, mm -hmm. that elevator action, because I reposted that snippet and expanded, made a graphic, and posted in a bunch of forums on Facebook. And people went nuts. They went crazy. <laughs> and and uh, John Champo said, whoa, 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 whoa. We're just uh, looking at it. Yeah. We can't guarantee anything. We'll be looking at it, just <laughs> yeah. looking at it for much so longer. So by that reaction, I think people are pretty excited That's about good. elevator action. Good. So good, good, that good. might push him forward a little bit on it. Good. Um, so that's it's a fun game. Yeah. Um, I am looking to buy an Atari Jaguar. Yes, you've been you've been talking, talking about, about that for a yeah. while. Um, so I was shipped by Bratwurst, who makes our lovely joysticks, oh, a while back. Awesome. Um, some thumb sticks um, for the Jaguar because you can uh, replace the D-pad quite easily. Oh, I see. And put in okay. a, a thumbstick instead, and he uh, sent and some oh, uh, alternate uh, D-pads as well for the oh, Jaguar. So he sent those neat. to me a while back for my non-Jaguar that I have, uh, <laughs> which was very, very nice of him. Hey, Blipsqueak. Yep. Got here via 8 Slips fa Facebook group. group. Oh, nice. so he uh, will be playing that very shortly. Yes. So if you've got 8-Bit uh, Slicks installed, you can play us because we'll be playing it online in a few minutes, cool. almost after the news. Um, yeah, very pricey. Yeah, so 
I put it put on the um, wanted group on uh, wanted forum on the Atari Age forums that I want a Jaguar. So if anybody out there has a nice looking Jaguar, I am in the market <laughs> for one. <laughs> Um, and I'd rather buy it from somebody in the forums yeah. rather than a random eBayer yeah. who, who knows what you're getting and who That's knows if true. you're getting and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Fair um, enough, so yeah, just PM me if you've got one that you, uh, don't want to use anymore mm. because I'd love to play some of the great homebrew there out are, there. Yeah. Some really great homebrew coming out and have already been released for it. Mm. And maybe Jaguar will be in next year's Atari homebrew awards yeah. and I will need to play some of these games yeah and i'll need to play the games on atari age day as well yes so i'm hoping to have a jaguar by then but that's coming how, how many releases quick. do they usually have for the jaguar a couple each year or? at least a couple yeah. i haven't really been closely following it yeah because um, i do vaguely remember from the last atari age day there was like one or two i think there's at least i think i have two two from last year uh one two three Three. Four. One did not So we have the games. So we just have not some the games. <laughs> not as pricey as a Vectrex. Well, no. I have two Vectrexes. Luckily, I don't have to get those. Yeah. <laughs> those are, those um, are, yeah. Pretty when you have the parts before you even have a Jaguar, I actually yeah. have two joysticks coming, two controllers coming from a Jaguar because they're not too bad. I found some very inexpensive ones. Oh, good. Okay. Um, so hopefully they work. And I also have an RGB connector for a Jaguar, too. Yeah, yeah, I have Vectri. Vectri. Vectrices. Vectri Vectrices. Vectrices? Yeah, that, I think I like that vectors, one the best. The vectors. vectors. The Vectors. The Vectors. Yeah, Vectrex, Ooh, the Vectors. That's even better. It's all good. Vectrices. Um, <laughs> vet vectrices, yeah. Um, so I'm not looking for any games. I'm not looking for controllers. I'm not looking for a box for it. i just looking for the Jaguar and the power supply. And gotcha. Maybe the, whatever, the RF, I guess it came with. RF out. I mean, I won't mm -hmm. use it, but it's people usually sell usually it. Usually anyway. sell it with it. Yeah. Um, so if you have one, get in touch with me. PM me. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Cafe May 2D, for subscribing for <laughs> and as Cafe Man 2D 22 says, months. Booyah. Yep. Actually, the two the day of the twos is coming up next month. The day of the twos. The it's two? gonna be February twenty second, two thousand twenty two. It's gonna be almost all twos, especially at two twenty two AM and PM. It's going to oh. only be one zero, but unless you're going to wait 200 years, it's that's as close that's as you're harder. going to get. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Um, so that's all the news. And so we're going to get to 8-Bit Slicks. If anybody is ready for that and have it and they have it set up on their end, um, just mention it in the chat here so mm. I can kind of keep track of who is going to be able to play so we can kind of talk back and forth. Gotcha. Uh, I've got Altira... Oh, Carl G, good timing, good timing. Um, you have to download the special Altira that he has on his website. And he has instructions on how to set it up as well on the website. So follow that Ivory Tower Collections if you want to play with us. Yep, go Are for it. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's time for cat treats while we get ready. This doesn't take long. Ding, ding. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about the 8-bit eight, eight slicks. Um... I'm going to flip over to the website quickly while he chews on that. Yeah. So here's the oh, website. Oh, they didn't hear the tree it. time voice. Oh, I haven't muted. Oh, no. Now I can trigger it. Trigger it again. I can trigger it, I think. Uh. <gasps> there you go. Zero page homebrew says, help, help, help. Something's wrong with the ZPH stream. <laughs> That's not the one. That's funny, though. That's funny, though. That is hilarious. It's treat time. Yum, 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 yum. Atari <laughs> goes crazy. How can I have double treat time? Yeah, woo! This doesn't even make sense. <laughs> oh, not British Jaguar. Uh, American. Yeah, I won't be able to. I mean, I could handle PAL, but uh, I'd rather have an NTSC just to make it easier. Yeah, I'm, it is confusing. Um, so, 8-Bit Slicks is... It's a remake of a legendary 90s game for the Apple II, uh, Commodore 64, Atari 8-Bit, Atari Lynx, NES, and Oric 1 Atmos. It's a game featuring up to four players, local or online, 22 go. maps, jumps, obstacles, cross points, online competitive ranking, and a friendly community. We'll see about that. <laughs> um, so this was actually made uh, with 
Where's my notes about that? Oh, there we go. Um, All done. All done. Should I not paste it into here? Um, with uh, a, a cross-platform um, program called 8-Bit... Oh, my 8-Bit Unity. There, there we, we go. go. Oh, there's 8-Bit Dude. He's a developer in the yeah. chat. Thank <laughs> there you we for go. rescuing me. 8-Bit <laughs> Unity. So it's you pretty much you make your game in 8-Bit Unity, and you can spit out the executable for all of these platforms mm. without having to tinker for each one of them mm. so you can make it in uh, apple atari uh commodore uh, i don't know what that is <laughs> or lynx uh it's uh, actually at the top nes orc one atmos I'm, Neat. I'm not familiar with orc one yeah um so very very cool cross-platform uh, game maker and there's a number of games that are in the works using 8-bit unity as well give me my treats i'm the show not the game <laughs> yes um so what do i have here so uh it'll be available for pre-order on february 1st this game so pretty soon through songbird productions the full version We'll have 22 maps uh, instead of 10 in the shareware. We'll be playing the shareware version. Okay. Uh, improved sprites, which is what I'm going to show you right now. So that's what it is in the shareware. You see the cars? Mm hmm And there's the improved cars. A little bit more detailed, a little bit wider. And it also has a number of uh, extra maps. So here's a sneak preview on some of the maps. So here's one of the maps, the desert mm -hmm. map. So you jump can see over. the arrows go that way. It's There's a jump. Yeah. So you can jump over cars. That's cool. Uh, this one is the estuary. Mm -hmm. you can jump over some water. Jump over some more water. Very nice trees and rivers. Apparently that river goes under. There's a little mm. bridge under there. Uh, there's one called oil? Furious. Looks like an oil slick. Looks like an oil slick. And yeah, some something. more oil and a little bit of dirt track there. Nice. Yeah, definitely super sprint vibe. So that is some very cool uh, tracks coming up for the full version that's nice. coming for pre-order. Nice. February 1st. Um, so we did play this earlier in the year. Uh, last time we played was August 24th. Okay. Remember playing that? I do. Head to head? Yep. Yeah. I we, and we did played... not play very well, but yes, I <laughs> and do And we remember. played through all 10 maps. Yes. Yeah. yeah. This t-shirt's very tight. It's the wrong size. That it's looks like, fine. Yeah, it's just riding up. Is Ugh. it just tight down here? Uh, it's just tight everywhere. <laughs> um, so since last time, um, okay, I'm just actually going to take a look and see if anybody said that they were able to get it going. I'm guessing 8-Bit Dude can get it going since he made it. Yeah. Uh, oh, ah, ooh, ah. Da, da, cat, da, da. cat. Lots of, lo I think there's a little bit of troubleshooting going on in there. Yeah, hopefully oh people have got it going. But I don't see anybody saying they are super ready to go. Uh, RC70 has got it running, but not sure how to join. Mm. Uh, well, you have to... Well, well, we'll step through it. So I'm going to use the real system right now. Okay. Um, but because I have a FujiNet, it doesn't work as well as other adapters for okay. online. Um, because of the way it communicates, it slows down the oh. gameplay. Oh, does it? Yeah. So we'll be actually emulating it. Oh, we'll switch over to that. Because it works a little better that works way? works a little bit better. Okay. Um, but first we're going to take a look at the actual real system. So let's boot that up. So I can prove that it does actually yeah. work online. This cat is purring away. Happy as a clam. Thank you, RC70, for the treats. Happy as clams. Yeah, happy clam cat. Okay. So, if you want to pick today's date, it's the first one. All right. Oh, jeez. I need that pillow. I'm so Is sorry. Working? I'm so sorry. Can you so press it? Eh. Okay. There we go. Load it up. Oh, can you put a mic on Atari so we can hear the purse? Oh, He'll be back. We'll get the purse. That'd be adorable. Yeah, he is quite a purr cat. You could have a, a portable uh, microphone on him, strapped to him at all times. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I have a Fuji net, so you pick three. Okay. For Fuji net. Cat mic. I can just hold them up to the mic. I think that would Why work pretty silent? well. I don't know. Is it supposed to be silent? Usually it should be making like noises. Mm. Not. You know, no, it's not, not, it's not, not modem noises. Not modem noises. That was a terrible modem noise, by the way. <laughs> Something is weird. Is it a little off? Is it supposed to be uh, grayscale? No, that's mm. supposed to be color. So, well, we'll mm. see. Fujinet is slow, even in emulator. Yeah, see, it's all black and white. What yeah, something's going on. Oh, I think I know. A lot of device boxes. Uh oh. Hey Atari. Come here. There we go. That's oh. a lot better. Not uh, much. <laughs> okay. Um, so what you do from here is you click online. Uh, 8 bit dude is saying please use Dragon Cart version. Well, I don't have a Dragon Cart. <laughs> so we can't use Dragon Card on yeah. my real system. Oh, you're using the real, but we will be using the emulator. Yeah, we'll use yeah. the emulator, and I'll try Dragon Card. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so we're going to use... See, there's two people in there waiting for us. <gasps> so what you do is you pick where there are people. Okay. So we'll pick one. And I have to put in my uh, login and password. So I'm going to do that right now. One second. And what I'm gonna do Meryl, is I'll let you guys see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, broken. That's okay. Uh, everyone can see you type, so. Oh, because it fell off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that probably doesn't help. There we go. All right. That's better. I'm gonna refresh my wine. Hold on. I'm coming no, right don't back. Leave the All right. I don't know. I don't know. This is the bad time. You're in the go. middle of the user typing in the user and the Ivory Tower Collection is feeling left out. Wow, I'm going to the ITC oh, game God. room back in a bit. <laughs> oh. This is just crying out for a Bomberman clone. Oh, yeah. Come on. One second. Oh, my God. There we go. <laughs> Typing my password in the login screen instead of the password. Oh, so now you've typed in your whole password. Oh, well. Yeah. I'm almost there. Is the flicker intentional? Oh, on the... Uh... Yes, it is. There's two uh, options for that. Maybe wine time can be another purchasable feature. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I would have to be um, spaced out. Uh, nicely across the, the stream. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, so okay. this is the waiting room. Oh, it's a little flashy. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So we are the blue car. Uh, no, we're the green, green car. So this is like the test mode. As you can see, it is a bit. Oh, it's the waiting room. So is everyone who's playing in the waiting room right yeah. now? Yeah. Oh, it is slow. It is slow. It's because of the Fujinet, not the game. Gotcha. So we're going to... So we've got Dude. Yeah. 48K Okay. 48K R. And me, ZPH. Ah. So let's start the game. Is everybody ready to race? No. Actually, before we race, we've got a chat. So go, There's a chat? Hey, uh... No. And there he goes, hey, uh... Oh, my goodness. It's pretty cool, huh? Wow. Okay. Ready to ride, race? Sure. Okay. This is going to be a... Uh, Starting in five seconds. Sweet. Ready? I don't hear sound, though. Did I start early? Ah! Ah! Where the... <laughs> I am uh, not doing so hot. Oh, who's blue? Blue is doing very well. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. 
I don't play a lot of racing games. I think it shows. It is a little slow to respond. I will admit to that. Ah, ha, ha. Oh my gosh, it's like so all over the place. <laughs> yeah, so that that is the the the, the Fujinet issue. I appear to be <laughs> jumping back and forth through space time, um, so through, through space and time. Now that we've shown that, okay, <laughs> we're actually going to play it on an emulator so that it will work. It will work properly. Yeah. So I'm gonna, just going to go quit. Okay. And then we'll switch over to the emulator. Hold, hold style. Have more wine. It'll help with the steering. Yeah. Usually. RC70 server full. Oh. Server. You've, you've spammed the server with the oh, no. people <laughs> joining. Okay. <laughs> that was fun, though. Yeah. So. That room is only for up to three, looks like. Yeah. It's yes, maximum it is. maximum three, right? Yeah, so mm. if it's full, then... Oh, there's some sound. Yeah, this is on the emulator. Uh, something is going a little bit wonky mm. there right now. Now, what you're seeing is the emulated version. So... Now we'll go online. Okay. Thank you, 48K Ram, for uh, sticking around for a bit. Yeah, so stay there, um, the people who are playing. If they can, if they can. Yeah. So, actually, let's <laughs> restart this. This is still system. the Fujinet version. Okay. Keep it due to saying use the Dragon. What was it? Dragon Net? Dragon? Yeah. So, we'll restart. No, oh, Ivory Tower Collections is trying to join too. It says, I'm, okay, I'm almost there getting set up on my 130XE. Oh, good. Okay, now... The music, good job on the music. Yeah. So you can pick the graphics so it's not flickery. So we'll do that. Because sometimes it has a little bit of trouble. Because it's processing 60 frames a second. It gets a little bit crazy. Network initialize. Adapter error. Do I need to do it in here? What was that? No. No, because I picked O oh, system. Uh, config system, then it was. Peripherals? No, I do want this again. Where was it? Peripherals. Yep. Devices? No, no, no. Is this supposed to be there? Oh, why isn't it Travel there? Cart. Oh, weird. Oh, does that work? I don't have to do anything else, do I? Local. Okay, let's try it again. There we go. Hooray! Yeah. Oh, it's full. Oh no, I can't join it. <laughs> Can somebody drop Number out? Number one <laughs> or two? Or we'll go join to two. two and yes. yeah, join two. We'll go two and then everybody else can join. RC seventy, I quit. Someone dropped. And now I will pass it. Required for. <laughs> so I was oh, like, oh, I see. ZPHH? I see that. Yeah. So I put it ZPHH. Oh my god, something that I didn't remember where to focus. Uh, nobody look. I'll type it over. Nobody look. <laughs> and they can race as me. Is there a way to make a room with a special code so you can play with specific friends? Oh, like a private room. Hmm. Okay, now we're good. Now I don't have to log in again. 
So we're going to wait for a couple of people to join. Room two? Yeah, we'll play room two. All right, people. Room two. And here's your controller for the comp piece. Oh, for the comp piece. You're not going to play? No. So we've got Mark in there. And ZPH. Oh, I'm orange. So a little bit better now, huh? Oh, much. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Not that I'm much better, but... I will stay in room one, 8-Bit Dude says. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, now we've got three. We've Who's got three? Blip, Mark, Blip. and ZPH. Yay, Blip. Are we ready to race? Let's chat. Hey, all. And it goes at the top. Nice. <laughs> okay. We are ready to race. Wait. Race. Wait. <laughs> I guess everybody has to say race. Race. There we go. All three ah. people said race. That's cool. Five seconds. Okay, ready? Ah. Which ah. one are you? Orange. Oh, you're winning. Blue is Mark is not even moving. He's getting the hang. Oh, he's turning. He has to find his accelerator pedal. Green is stuck in the. Oh, Green's taking off now. <laughs> Found the accelerator. I think Green's Blue giving is... me a head start. Blue is uh... still looking for the pedal. Ah! Ah! Oh, Green is trying to catch up to Tanya. Tanya's got a head start, but she's wild. <laughs> she's all over the track. Green is almost lapped her. Ah! Ah. Green has almost lapped her. It's close. Tanya's done three laps now. Uh, oh, no, she's two, off. Two, two, two. Okay, yep. But Blip is also. He's, he's almost. They, they, they've almost passed you. Ran into the back end of Tanya. Blue car. Marcus. Marcus oh, found the accelerator. <laughs> Blip is still <laughs> struggling to pass Tanya. She's able to block him. Oh, we blocked ah. again. Don't try and cheat. We knew that. You have to go around all the corners. Yeah. Oh, Blip is in the lead now. Oh, Tanya's hot on her tail. Not really. <laughs> oh, 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 Blip has crossed the line for four laps. Tanya's close behind. Uh. Blue is all over the place. Mark is having some trouble. Blip is still in the lead. Tanya's having some trouble. Oh, I'm always having trouble. Oh, five laps for Blip. Ah, four. Four for I'm Tanya. The, uh, oh, cool. Four. Five for ZPH. Oh, I won. Oh, I guess no, I was no, one ahead. Blip one. Blip one. Okay, fair enough. At ten something? Ten seconds? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I oh. don't know what that is. It was a very close finish. Very good. Very, very good. good. Very fun. So let's go to... <laughs> That's awesome. Let's check out room one and we'll go back there. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna refresh my wine. You can. Play. Oh, so it goes to the next race. Oh, oh, very nice. So I'm gonna quit out. So you do Q. Yeah. And then we'll. You're take quitting. A, we'll go back to. A, we'll go to a look at another room, okay. and I want to race um, Eight Bit Dude. Okay. Because he's sitting in room one. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, still room in room one. Excellent. So it remembers your name and password when you uh, exit out. So you only have to type it once per session. Vitoko was in room one, but it dropped me. Timed out. Okay. Okay, so we're all in here. We've got Dude, we've got RC7E, we've got ZPH. So I am green. Uh, dude is blue, 8-bit dude, and RC70 is red. And then we've all found our accelerator buttons. Are we ready to rock, I think? Let's do a chat. I'm ready. Let's get the R. I'm ready. He goes, I'm ready. This is very, very cool. Something about running emulators under emulators. Because <laughs> we're emulating... A piece of hardware under a piece of software. Oh, because Marco Twitch 555 says, I'm running the emulator under one oh, on, on Ubuntu. That's hilarious. Is that an emulator on, under an emulator? Okay, we're ready to rock. All right. They're saying press one. <laughs> okay, racing. Woo! So I am Dude, RC70. Green. All right. It's 8-Bit Dude and RC70. Ah. Very nice. And the 
kicking my butt so far. Well, 8-bit dude, I mean. <laughs> he should He be. is number one on the scoreboard. Yeah, more wine! Woo! <laughs> more wine. Oh, God. There's like a one wine, one glass kind of mild improvement in game play playing, and then yes. everything beyond the first glass just, just goes downhill. <laughs> goes downhill after that. So, so I'm battling it out nice. for second place. <laughs> And kind of losing. This is pretty cute. I really think this is amazing that you can even do it. Oh, 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 I, <laughs> oh get out of there. stuck. Stuck you. I, oh. How many How many spectators did you run into in that Only last move? Only a few. But that's what they few. come for. That's they true. They come for the spectacle. They come, they come for a little oh. bit of uh, injury, right? Yeah. Yep. Lost oh, by just close, a bit. Close. Good stuff. Maybe one would help <laughs> the Witcher 3 controls. Maybe. Not usually. <laughs> so we'll stick with this group. And yep. we'll go to the next one. Actually, we'll skip one if we can, because mm. we played that one. Color version of Super Sprint, yes. Oh, yeah, I was going to tell my Super Sprint stories. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the next map, if we can. Can you? Can yeah, you go press ahead? Press 2. Everyone has to press 2? Yeah. Everyone next, has to press next. 2. Changing maps in 5 seconds. Oh. That's cool. Oh, so neat. everybody has to agree to start the race ah, and to change maps. So you all need to live stream at the same time as play, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Have everybody in their own windows. Uh, well, the server is full currently. Oh, so I've Ivory Tower Collections is Okay. Yeah. Try server 2. If it says. Oh, I'm on the screen, but they're not. Oh, there oh. we go. Oh. Oh, that's fun. So oh, wait till did everyone someone... comes on the screen. RC70 got kicked out, eh? Uh, yeah. Our, oh, timeout. He got timed out. Well, somebody can join us in um, number three oh. if they like. Ivory Tower, if you want to jump in. If he, well, I don't know if uh, Ivory Tower got in, but that's okay. This is really cool. Yeah. Lip Squeak says, this is absolutely amazing. It is. It is really, it's really cool. It's super cool playing an 8 bit game can you online imagine, and streaming it. Can you imagine being a kid and <laughs> being able to, this? like, well, just like, I don't know. The Being closest... able to do it over a modem or something. Like, it well, just, it would have blown. Like it's true. Um, but, you know, in the <sighs> just, I don't early know. 80s, the yes. closest they came was, like, doing a TV show and people playing arcade games or video games. Yeah. And they would show that. So we still have one person available. For the next round, slot, probably. If somebody wants to probably join. Probably have to finish it, right? I don't know. We're in room three. So Ivory Tower, if you want to quit out of room two and jump into room three with us. Would be good to have a third. Mm. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Smash. What you need to do is um, make a, the next game after this a crash up derby. Oh, yeah. So people are smacking each other. I, I always love the games where when you hit parts of the car, the tires change colors. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then so you have to go into the pit Your body to changes fix. color, like yeah. your front end, your back end, and your tires well, would be cool. Well, whatever, a... whatever racing game I had on my Commodore 64 had the four tires. Pit stop. And pit stop. Two. Yes. Pit stop. Yes. Yes. Or pit stop, too. So you, and you smack it, and the colors change. And if you don't go back to the pit, then you can't keep going. So we'll wait a little bit for Ivory Tower to join yeah. uh, map three. Um, so my super sprint, uh, oh, next. Okay, sure. Next. Um, we had, mm. I worked at a comic book store mm. in the mid, late 80s. Late 80s. Um, and they had a super sprint uh, uh, arcade game there. <gasps> oh, crazy. Oh, I remember this. This one's, this one's challenging. Oh, that's so cool. Lots of right turns. And if you hit the coin box in the right place oh on the super sprint we had yeah it would give you a free game because uh -huh. it would jiggle something nice so we're in gta in the gta um oh, dude is server. c64 zph is atari that's what those symbols mean at the bottom oh that's super cool so oh, we're neat. not only playing online we're playing cross platform wow okay we're dude says race we're gonna race we're gonna race. We're racing. Back to the start line. There we go. Five laps. And green. So I am green. green? I had a bit of an, advent of an advantage because I was. Well, not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is so crazy. Not the hang of it. 
C64. So the fact that uh, Dude is playing on a C64 tells me they've played this game a lot because mm -hmm. our stream is not... <laughs> we don't play C64 games, so this person has played this game before. Mm -hmm. And they're kicking my ass. Mm. It's 8-bit Dude. Isn't oh, it? is it? Yeah, I oh, think okay. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, no wonder. <laughs> kicking my ass. That's why I want a third, so I can actually have a contention a fighting for... Fighting chance. Fighting chance for, for second. second. Yeah. Kathy Man TD, what is Fuji 1.5? Uh, the different numbers uh, represent the different hardware builds. Mm. Um, they have different... Because uh, I was watching some videos on that. Mm. I think I have a 1.5, mine, my mm. version. And newer ones have better, you know, SD card slots or different connectors. Ooh, I'm almost not lapped. Oh, no, he's like... Oh, 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 what? Can somebody just like... Someone joins. Join and blip, be like way blip behind? Is back. Woo, blip. Well, that's funny. You can join and be way behind. Neat. Dude has done six laps? What the hell? How can you have... Oh, because everybody has to finish. Maybe. Oh, is that what it is? Wow. Well, where's the... Where's... Oh, he just finished. He's like, ah, I'm done. <laughs> well, he's done dude, six Dude is just, like, sitting at the top up. there. He's like, meh. Oh. Whoa. Things are Starting going a little Starting race in five crazy. seconds. Oh, we're doing it again. Okay, that's fine. Nice. Hey, but dude is giving me a head start. <laughs> that's very generous of you. beat me after that head start and he's beat me and now it's over so i got i got my booster <laughs> i got my booster shot yesterday she's full of 5g <laughs> full of 5g that's right she's got the I, best and i have the, the full vaccine bingo card at this point because i have all the vaccines available in canada because every vaccination i've gotten oh we only has three? been different do we only have three yeah no. uh pfizer moderna and astrazeneca i have the got all the Pokemon. We don't have Johnson and Johnson here, so, no. so yes, I, I'm, I, Collect one them of them in. I have the hope that one of them will stick. So, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I spent idea. most of the day on the couch because I felt like I got hit by a freight train. Yeah, yeah. A little but bit I'm feeling a little now. better today. Uh, like, yeah, I'm this feeling a little better now. Yeah. I think the wine is helping. <laughs> Doctor Fauci never talks about you know. No. Don't taking drink with wine it. to deal with the side effects. I think that should even, also be required. Even but... if that was a problem, <laughs> they would be very hesitant to say, you can't drink after you've had the vaccine. Because <laughs> people go, nah, nah, we're yeah. good. Just beat me. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ivory Tower scheduled for his booster on the 20th. Which hardware is blip? Nice. Yeah, what is that X? Oh, that's a good question. Modded links with VJ out of my TV with an NES style Atari <laughs> controller? Wow. You're that's pretty impressive wow. actually. Modded links. Okay, let's race. Nice. Yeah, Charles Whelan gotta catch them all. Yeah. Correct. I don't see dude there. Oh, it's just you. Oh, I see orange blips there. Blips there. Oh, we lost dude at some point. Waiting for dude. Oh, it says waiting. Oh, I've said race. Waiting for oh, dude. Oh, there we go. Oh, just two people. Oh, no. We lost dude. Oh, things are a little funky. Wonky? I think so. Blip is in the weeds. Oh, blip's back on track. Oh, he's catching up fast. Yeah, that's the problem. Oh, he jumped. Oh, you have to go fast. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, tied. Got the inside track. Nope, not anymore. <laughs> that's a jump. So if you don't hit the jump, you get stuck in the water. That's a very bad thing. Oh, I got it. You even go up in the air and it gives you a shadow, which is really cool. Ivory Tower Collections. Yeah, the sprites jump everywhere, including myself. I think it depends on what you're using. Because yeah. the FujiNet did that. It was Kittens. like Kittens. bouncing back and forth. He's fine. He's fine. He's not doing anything yet. Mm. Okay. There he is. Yeah. Good He's kitties. Fine. <laughs> Good kitties. You're just waiting for him to tap on things and like 
like switch switch things on the stream. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got six laps. Bing, bing. It's, it's not counting Blip's laps, though, on He's my like, screen. Yeah. Oh, dudes, come in. Oh, hey, dude. Okay. I think we've finished this one. Mm. So Have we? How do we go to... Goal the... five, five laps. Because I've got seven. Well, Blip has... Uh, dude nothing. has to get five in, so we're waiting on dude. Oh, okay. Well, just, just hang out. I'll Hang just, out in the middle island somewhere. What I'll do is block the jump. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> no meanie, I do meanie. Ooh. I don't know why blips wasn't counted. It was very strange. Yeah. Yeah, I start in the bottom right corner of the screen and my laps aren't registering. Mm. Oh, no. That's well, good beta testing. <laughs> yeah. Real world. Still. Recorded testing. Still very Ooh. cool. Yeah. Oh, he's almost done. Still on his... Fifth lap, missed the jump, and done. Woo. Nice. We'll do one more. You okay. said there are ten levels? Ten on the demo version. That we have the shareware. Yeah, yeah. shareware version. That there's twenty-two on the full one. Mm. Yeah, eight yeah, bit dude says the SIO cuts the DLI VBI uh, completely, which is the um, FujiNet, so it doesn't really work well with the FujiNet. So we've got Dude, and we've got me. We're waiting for one more person. Ivory Tower. Oh, next. Okay, we'll go next. Doesn't like this one. Mm. <laughs> Monte Carlo. No good. It's making the fun noises now. It is. The yeah. loading noises. <laughs> funny because i i heard like on a um youtube video or something atari people like that noise they're like hearing it because oh. it signals things yeah oh we've got two people three people yay um but c64 didn't have loading noises for their floppy drives well they didn't have loading noises but they still made noise i mean you well, knew something the, was the going floppy on floppy drive made noise. yeah, yeah the drive noise. itself quite a bit yeah um quite a bit of noise so for me it's like oh and like when it when it would it would spin up and stop and spin up again, you're like, yeah. oh, something's wrong. Eh, 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 yeah, you're eh, like, come eh, on, eh, 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 eh. come on. Oh, oh, changing tires, get out of there! <laughs> Can't believe I was beating dude for a second there. Uh, just for a second. Wait, did we lose? Somebody's gone. Where oh, are they? Oh no! Oh, yep, dropped. Yeah, blip got dropped. I think. We are in, are we in room two for now? We're in rally, whatever room, room two. Is. Room two? They're all labeled. Are they? No, this is not two. Oh, three. I don't know which one oh. it is. Whatever the one <laughs> rally is. We've forgotten already. Oh, rally at the bottom. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. Bottom left, so. Yeah. If anyone wants to join late, we're almost done. Oh, Vitoko's here. Oh, uh, Blipsqueak. Uh, yeah, it was glitchy for me. I'll let someone else join. Okay. Yeah. Doko. So Yay. hang around. We'll go to the next uh, next one. We're go almost, to the next one, yeah. We're almost done. Oh, that Rally lap. is one. Yeah. There we go. Uh, dude won again. <laughs> so stay in the stay in the server, Vitoko, and we'll play one more with you in it. I keep getting timeouts. Oh, that mm. sucks. It's uh it's pretty advanced stuff. So, <laughs> and everybody here? Yep, race. Press one. Dude, oh, dude, dude is leaving to give oh, someone no. else a chance. That's oh, okay. Oh, we started. Okay. Waiting okay. for dude. Someone else could join. Someone I guess? else could join. We're in the river map. Yep. They say waiting for dude, but but it also says dude is not there. Yeah. I think somebody could join. Oh, this Toko's car's strange. gone. That's okay. It just might mean everyone has to join, right? So. Yep. Time out again. Oh no, Vidoko. It was working when we were finishing that last race. 
We're, we're, we're overloading the servers. That's right. Four people are playing. <laughs> Getting some good practice in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Should I go to the next one? Do it. Does everybody have to... Can you skip? Waiting for dude, need more players. So you're waiting oh, for... Oh, oh, RC7E jumped ah, in. I just exited. Did you? I can jump back oh, in. Oh, no. Stay there, RC7E. Yeah. <laughs> I'll jump back in. This is so cool, though. I guess we're on island? Yeah. Rally. You were on Rally? Rally 6, apparently. Well, no, that's that's not right. No, island. Person. We were on island, you're right. Hmm. Marco Twitch. Oh, I should have set up my Apple IIe with real hardware. That'd be cool. Get a whole bunch of different computers yeah, playing it. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. The full version supports four people playing at once. Oh, really? So this is the the share ver version is three. Nobody here. <laughs> Yeah, share version is uh, Max 3. Cool. We're on island. Oh, RC70 is here. Excellent. Anybody else want to try and join? We'll give it a uh, couple minutes. Well, seconds. Seconds. 15 seconds. We don't want RCI70 to time out. We'll have a race. Oh, it times out if you don't start playing? No. It, oh, oh, blip. We're good. Yep. Okay, press here one. Start the race. There we go. Starting in five seconds. This is so cool. It is super cool. <laughs> I just really like it. And the fact that... Oh, no. Mm. Blip went away. But we've still got RC70. So is this technology... 8-Bit um, Dude. Is this technology built into the, um, the game engine? So if you make any game with the 8-bit Unity system, it has this built in. So anybody can make, make a multiplayer online game, because that would be amazing. Server five now. Well, we'll finish up this race. Almost there. Is he beating me or is I? I think he's beating me. Yep. Oh, 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 ITC, oh. someone oh, jumped in. Oh, you made in. it. Ivory Tower Collections. Oh, get in your get in a couple of laps. Yep. <laughs> well, you can. Woo. Oh, I'm just about to cross the line. Are oh, you? Oh, ah, oh. ah, ah. Uh, uh. Yay. Yay. Okay, stay with us, ITC. Yeah. We'll go to the next. Uh, One more round. Next lap. Yeah. Yep. Try and play with everyone. <laughs> 8-Bit Slick server runs on Python. Uh, it has a simple UDP TCP code. 8-Bit Unity SDK contains a sample Python server plus client. Okay. So I'm guessing that is... Oh, yeah, he says that's correct. Okay, we're good. Let's race. Boom. This one is challenging. Oh, Ooh, my yeah. There's a loop-de-loop -loop in there. I vote race. Are we ready? Race starting. Good. There's lots of turns in this one. This is going to be... <laughs> this is going to be a mess. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, it's crazy. What color am I? Oh, I'm blue, no wonder. I'm like driving the wrong car. Yeah, it does get confusing. Because I think it changes colors from it uh, can. map it, to map. It must just kind of register, oh, one, two, three, right? Yeah. So, yeah, it does oh, get confusing. this is a crazy, crazy one. Lots of turns. Got to slow down on this one. You can't, <gasps> can't go full out. I love they look like little little beetles <laughs> running around. They are cute. They are cute. I got caught up. Almost. Almost. It's ITC. <laughs> I'm ahead of somebody. I'm not last. Hooray. Hooray. <laughs> oh, the gas pedal stuck to the floor. <laughs> This is a challenging, challenging map. How many laps do I have? Two. Oh my god. I'm in trouble. RC70 is kicking my ass. Well, it didn't help that I started thinking I was the wrong car. 
I thought I was green at first. So how does... Yeah, good stuff. Very good stuff. So 8-Bit did... How does it... Um, keep track because we've tried skipping areas on other maps um how does it keep track of that you've gone around the track properly does it go in blocks because i know some games go okay you have to visit that block and then you yeah. have to visit that block and then this one and this one and if you skip over one it's it, like no it doesn't count it doesn't count yeah, yeah. oh we're all still here okay we'll do one more <laughs> but it's your turn. me no 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 yep yep done oh geez we'll see how this goes Oh, ITC's gone. Anybody oh, else want to join? Troubles, troubles. Oh, no, race is starting. <laughs> well, you can still join, which is kind of funny. People can just jump in. But it makes sense, because then you just go to the next one, too. You can just wait out the race. Oh, you're kicking ass! Oh, for like two seconds. <laughs> Until the turn, right? And my system's locked up again with a black screen. Oh, oh that no, sucks. that does suck. So, do I have any more notes? I think I had something. Um, oh, yeah. Changes since the last time we played. Um, added a 48K version for playing on 400-800. So, if you have an older system, there is a version that you can play. Added support for the 8-bit hub, which can, uh, connects to joystick port 2. Um, so, you can play with multiple people, extra people, four people. Added a menu for selecting network adapter, 8-bit hub, dragon cart. Well, RC70 uh, has lapped me, so. <laughs> it is possible to run all versions on a single Atari with Fujinet and SIO, dragon cart and cartridge port, and 8-bit hub and joy port too. I have such setup myself. Upgraded to multicolor sprites, previously a single color. Implemented the best lap time system, shown in scoreboard as well as info menu. Improved the great game frame rate of about 25%. And I think the frame rate is is totally fine for um, playing. Like, like you can see, it's not thirty or sixty frames a second, but it is totally ah, fine cat. for doing turns and playing. Cat. <laughs> he's like treats. Do no. you have some treats? Oh, he's about to finish the race. Ah! Oh, good job. Good job. Good job, RC seven eight. You're trying to distract me, aren't right you? Me. Yes, you are. Okay. Hi, sweetie cat. Yes. And we will finish there on this game. Oh. That was a ton of fun. That was so much fun. And a really cool um, glimpse into the possible future of online playing for the Atari 8-bit system for games. Mm -hmm. Super fun. Yes, thank you, RC70. So, oh, that sexy. Hi. That. Hi. Hi. So, oh. thank you. 8-Bit Dude for making that game. It is amazing. It is super, super awesome. Um, and it's a lot of fun, especially playing online and playing live online. That's so cool. Where you can talk to the people <laughs> and other people can watch you can actually the, the game being chat played. little bits too, which is fun. And um, on their website, actually, yeah. uh, let's go back to it mm. um, and show you something actually really, really cool. Watch replays here. Yes. Very nice. That's what I was going to say. <gasps> you can actually watch replays of games. Um, so I set up an event, and you can also, they have a calendar here, so you can see that. Oh, look at that. There's the event for tonight, <gasps> right? Zero page homebrew Twitch live stream. Oh, um, cool. When it is, where it is, race against us, Friday, January 14th. Nice. So you can actually go to uh, replay of games. Mm -hmm. um, there's our game. Mm. RC70 versus Z. Z look, we won once. <laughs> oh, twice. Amazing. Yep, that's it. One twice. So we can take a look at the last game. Actually, let's look at the one where I won. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. this. Oh, um, it's a slightly different... It doesn't work on this browser. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's okay. That's um, so cool, though. Well, maybe I can do it on a different browser. have to be logged into watch replays. Yeah, okay. So let's go 
little away from this. And just one second. Rip squeak, very impressed all around. I agree. That's so cool. Okay. okay, so you can actually see the replay of the game. So that's me in the blue. Oh, I'm getting lapped. I'm behind. You have to watch it in real time. There's no fast forward to rewind. Oh, ITC jumps in. Woo! Yeah. Look at this. Oh, no wonder I got first. There was only two. Started with two people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I'm still doing terrible there. <laughs> Game's almost over. Oh, looks like I just, just beat RC70 mm. right there. Right at the end, I pulled it out. Like, oh, oh, still going through the mud. Yeah. And then I squeaked across the finish oh, line. Ah, there you go. That is such a cool option. That is so neat. And um, so you can see the servers from here, how many people are on them. Nice. And you can actually watch the game. Oh, it's streamed live. Live <gasps> from the website. That's so cool. Isn't that a cool option? So we can see. <laughs> There we go. 8-Bit Dude is is playing, warming up right now. Warming up right now wow. in, in the freeway one. So you can so see, cool. oh, who's there? Right? And he just typed, hey. And you can see the chat, too. <laughs> yeah, that's This so is cool. unbelievable. This is super, super it cool. It is so, so cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll have to have more... Um, more races. Yeah. More events, yes. 8-Bit yeah. eight eight Slick events. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. That. So that is... RC70. I thought those chats were private. <laughs> they are public. <laughs> what if the chats get archived or if it's just the races? Probably the races just... Yeah. 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 So, oh, need to adapt uh, yeah. Warlords. There you go. <laughs> it might be a bit too fast. They might need some pretty good optimizations for Warlords, but that's, that's super, mm -hmm. super cool. Mm -hmm. um so yeah download it play on the servers organize events it's yeah. all there for you and it's going to be for sale for pre-order february 1st through wow. songbird productions songbird productions there you go <laughs> i take back everything i may or may not have said in the chat previously <laughs> when i was trying to connect then. yeah there you go <laughs> um so next one next game we're going to be playing is cosmic arc yeah and this is on the, the Bratwurst system. <laughs> on the Bratwurst. On the Bratwurst. So let's open it up. Well, it makes me want to get a real system just for the game. Yeah. You know a game is good when it makes you buy hundreds of dollars of hardware. Mm -hmm. It's a system seller. Mm -hmm. That's what they call that. Mm -hmm. It is worth it. These 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 are great. So, um, this for its first posted January 1st, and then this build is from January 4th. Mm. I want to see if there's um, audio. So if you could start it off, press the button. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't know what was going on before. Um, so the original thread of, this is by uh, Faron. The original thread of the game was started by Glurk, who said, let's say there was a $1 million prize for any programmer who could create the effect uh, the Starfield effect in the Atari 8-bit system. Just hypothetical, of course. How would you do it? And then four days later, Farron posts pretty much a finished game for Cosmic Arc, saying, Proof of concept for emulating the Starfield in GTIA, based on the original. And Glurk said, Well, I suppose I need to find a different game to work on now. And then Farron said, Sorry, I didn't mean to preempt you, but that's it's not done yet. The Starfield could be improved a lot better to match the original. And you might have some better ideas. Uh, Cosmic Arc is a fairly easy disassemble code and data mostly separated, no nasty tricks like in offset indexing. I mostly reversed it by hand, but a 2600 oriented uh, tracing disassembler like Distella should make short work of it. Um, and then he started his own thread at the game three days later and finished the game by saying, polishing off some work from the Starfield thread. Uh, Cosmic Arc ported to 8-bit. Controls. Joystick 1 for main control, along with Joystick 2 if a two-player game is active. Oh, one second. Before it times out and goes away. Oh, uh, God. Oh, I haven't played the this The results in a while. of the poll 
First place, controls are the most important for 50%. Then music and sound, 21%. Then story or concept and uniqueness, tied at 10%. Then graphics are the last, which is not terribly surprising with this community, mm -hmm. where we play 2,600 games with blocks and stuff. Yeah. Graphics are the least necessary thing. So if if you notice, completely forgotten <laughs> how to play it. Oh, you'll get it. So when that sounds, you have to go back up into your ship, or else the, that's going to get you. Because yeah. your ship's unmanned. Yeah. Am I the only one who picked graphics? But that's it. <laughs> Maybe. It's I don't know. Is seven point one percent one vote? Maybe. <laughs> Interesting. I'm not getting all the sound effects. On this, oh my God. listening Come on. to this game, or this guy. Yeah, they're naughty. You gotta get back. Get back. You're gonna die. Ah. <laughs> you gotta. You have like a couple seconds. I know. To try and get I know. <laughs> After that, you're done. Um, control one for main control, along with joystick two if a two-player game is active. One toggles left difficulty. Two toggles right difficulty. Select starts. Uh, choose the game. Start to begin and restart. The star field is updated from the version in that thread and now uses horizontal scrolling to avoid having the bit shift right. Um, a lot of interesting information that I don't understand. This is a port of the NTC NTSC version is intended to run at NTSC speed. I experimented with PAL speed correction, but Cosmic Arc is already known for shots tunneling through meteors at high speed. Dropped him. Uh, oh no, just keep holding on to it. So you notice the lasers go at a very mm -hmm. specific interval. Yeah. Some graphical glitches I can see along the bottom as well. Oh, on the... Which game are you talking about? Oh, I'm sure you're talking about the other game. Yeah. I always like the beasties in this game. It's yeah. very cute. That looks like a... He's got his arms up in the air going... Ah! That was close. I know, that was... Ah, get in there! Carl C.G. said, I thought it was a 2600 version for sure. Like, it's... Looks pretty it good. Looks exactly, it looks exactly like the 2600 version. And that was their, their goal, is to port the 2600 versions over almost perfectly. Oh, nice. I gotta listen for it. I'll turn it up for you. <laughs> it's okay. Ah! Who's to the left? I know. It's an awkward position I'm sitting in right now. So I asked the poll because of these these games, right? People are... Let me go to the quote right now. Um, so the quote is uh, responded to... It was, the quote's from Glurk, who did the, the next two games. Uh, and he posted this today. Um, I've seen some comments, not on this forum, referring to the Atari H forum, on videos of my port saying, why aren't the sprites improved, etc. I guess that they don't understand that I'm directly porting the 2600 game, as Farron has done here also. But I think to myself about that. Does it improve the game? Usually the answer is no. Simple, fun games don't need the latest 3D whiz-bang stuff. Which is true. Which is no. I need to sit with it in my lap. Which is not probably why straight. all of us are still playing these games on these systems too, and why we're not all like, well, that's an old system, PS5. <sighs> use the newest Xbox. Yeah. Download the latest game on Steam because the old ones are just terrible. Because oh, you have to watch it. You have to. I know keep it's track of it's, it like it's a, a problem clock. when it's um. It's like an upside down dog. Oh god. Terrible. Uh, it's always bad when it, uh... I remember there's, um... Get those upside down dogs. <laughs> Playing it safe. Charles Whelan says, all those poor aliens are getting abducted. 
you could say you're rescuing them from their planets that are going to blow up, right? Or from the people who are running those lasers. Mm-hmm. But Rescued, yeah. quote-unquote, yeah. Rescued. But in actual fact, you're probably the bad guy in this game. Oh, I hate that. Because they hit it, it when it times and it hits right at the bottom level. Yeah. It screws you over. Oh, it's way too late. Yeah, that's fine. But you don't lose by getting shot. You lose a little bit of energy, but well, you don't lose-lose. Because you don't have lives in this game, you have energy. Yeah. yeah. But really, you're the bad guy going to alien worlds and taking all the life forms for your zoo. I think that's was the instructions. Yeah. It's, it's not great. <laughs> you're like a intergalactic trophy hunter pretty, pretty much, much. <laughs> yeah. more upside down dogs xeno <laughs> <Zeno> poacher <laughs> yep xeno oh, poacher because if you get back to your ship quite quick enough you don't have to do that extra ah, ah that messed me Ooh. up I'm listening to you from one side there. So this is originally in a magic game. Do I have some information about it? Um, <laughs> it's so stressful. No, I don't. This is such a stressful game. Is, oh, what is that thing? A little monkey on the ground. They're all aliens. Um, we tried to get the patch on this. Oh, God, it was hard. But it ramps up so quickly yeah. at the end that it's... And we tried to... I think Thomas Yench was going, oh, do this, do this, do this. And it was like, it wasn't working. You just run out of energy too quick. And there was like hints of like, oh, go to the planet. Only get only get one of the creatures. At a th- time. And then die and at certain points. And it just wasn't making sense and it wasn't working. We just kept running out of energy no matter what we did. And I think the patch score on the magic is, uh, on this game, is like 30,000 or something. <gasps> And it was oh, just so hard to get. so hard. It really like is. We didn't, we didn't even come close. Of course, that is par for the course for all the magic patches. We haven't got one of them. No, they're so hard. They're s- the magic patches must be so expensive to buy because hardly anybody have, has them, I'm sure. Numb Thumb Club. That's what it's called, yes. Thank you so much for subscribing, or or Don, or De, or De Necro, or De Necro. Thank you, first time subscriber. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you enjoy Come watching on, us. Bastard, can't get that little jumpy thing at the bottom. So for all the new <laughs> new people that are here, we play Atari games on yeah. the show, and we have the Atari 2600, and Atari 8-bit, and we have the Atari 7800. <gasps> Over there, you can see it in the cat, the kitten cam. Um, and sometimes we play other systems. Um, we're looking to get a Jaguar. Maybe even a Lynx. Oh, it got me! Eventually. Um, I'm rebuilding my 5200 right now. <laughs> so that it can be hooked up through S-Video and look really nice. Oh, God. Oh. Now you're up to the hard level. I, I, this, is, this is like, yeah... Oh, it's so hard. Uh, oh, I'm gonna die. Or Denecro says, I was able to score a concerto card thanks to your YouTube <laughs> video. Thanks. Oh, you're very welcome. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Oh, nice. My turn. Okay. Then we'll move on. Did, oh, it's all terrible unscrewed. the first couple of rounds. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I'm so nervous and twist the joystick I so do. much. Oh, you have to press. You can't just press down while your ship is coming down. No, you can't. You have to wait till it's down. Yeah, and was, then is press that different down. than the other version? Probably not. I just forgot. On the twenty six hundred version, didn't the color black, the color black and white switch turn off the star field? Maybe. Oh, maybe it did because it might yeah. be too much for some people. Ugh. Oh, come on. Those aliens are a couple. What is the point to abduct only one for the arc? Well, technically, you need both of them. Technically, you need uh, a diverse collection of oh, creatures, okay. yeah. so they don't uh, inbreed. Yeah. They don't seem to be too uh, enthusiastic about joining your art, by the way. Uh, no, they don't want to go. 
they would rather stay on their home yeah. planet where everything was good. Because are you even bringing food for them? Like like native food that they know. eat? I don't know. Come on! Corner you. There we go. It does raise some questions about the um, Noah's Ark. How, <laughs> how compliant are those animals? Oh, oh, oh they, I don't know. They seem compliant in all the stories that were told. Well, we just watched, what, whose Noah. version was it? Noah? Uh, um, oh my god. Uh, Darren Aronofsky? No. Mr. Complex name. Yeah, Darren Aronofsky. Darren Aronofsky's Noah. Not a, not a terrible film. Oh, it's a good film. Yeah, not a Crazy. terrible film. Yeah. Save it for the Cosmic Arc fanfics. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Who's to say the aliens from one planet can't breed with aliens from another planet? Yeah. It's highly unlikely. Oh, highly yeah. unlikely all the equipment is going to work together. <laughs> That's so, true. Um, especially if they're, say, silicon-based or something like that. It's yeah. It's going to cause... Their some... DNA is not going to no, understand each other. No, the DNA could be completely different. So. And work in a different way. Yeah. Combine different Unless they are actually our progenitors. Yes. Uh, and actually dropped humans on the planet, you know... Amspermia, uh, uh, yes, yes, kind of a then that, would, that might be different, but uh, even then, creatures on our own planets don't even have to be so close. No, oh, it's okay. <laughs> it worked in the V miniseries. Oh, true, yeah. yeah. Get back. I remember the V, oh, that was bloody close. At least you can kind of prepare while you're going up into the ship, like to press the right direction. Mm. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Hey, mm. hey, hey, hey. Works on Star Trek too. Does it though? Does anyone Does actually it? have progeny on Star Trek? I think they just copulate. That's, that's, I think, what usually happens, but. This is my favorite part of the uh, game, this Star part. Trek. Yeah. Actually, what are you doing sniffing around? That's the SG-1 backstory for the ancients. Yeah, yeah. It's funny, I never watched any of the Stargate no. TV series. Love the movie from back in the Kitchens, day. Can you deal with the cat, please? He's chewing cables or sniffing them at least. He's bad. He's want he's wanting uh, treat time, I think. Yeah. He's like, uh, if you don't give me treats, I'm going to chew all the cables to the uh, bratwurst. No, uh, we don't want that. Nostalgic on, on Star Trek Prodigy, the Diviner's daughter Gwyn is called Progeny. There are half Vulcans, half Klingons. That is true. Really? That is true because isn't um, Worf half? Oh. No. no. Is he Klingon? Well, but he's Klingon. adopted. Oh. Or is he half Klingon? I bet he's half. Klingon. It's been a while. I haven't watched anything Star Trek in a very long time. So Spock was half Vulcan. That's yes, correct. Spock yeah. Was you're right. And you're half right. human, so they were able to interbreed. Yes, you're right. The Red Dwarf universe is much it. easier. The Red Dwarf. Everybody so is that's James's from... sci-fi universe is the Red Dwarf universe. Everybody is descended from man. Yes. It's explained in the universe that there are no other life forms in the whole of the universe except for humans. Well, aren't they all dead, though? Isn't, uh, what's his name, the last one? Well, all the humans are dead. Yes. But, but yeah. there are humanoids throughout the universe because it's oh, three million years. In the future. In the future. So they <laughs> are technically... Related to humans, every every life form or, that uh, or or they life come forms up on from Earth. Yeah. Because cat is descended from cats. Oh, I love cat. Cat <laughs> is the best. Yeah. The best. There's a Doctor Who episode where the Doctor gets a daughter by a progeny machine. Oh. Or if it's full Klingon, adopted. Yes, I couldn't remember if he was adopted. Right. Liliana Taurus was the half Klingon. Okay. But yeah, Spock was half Vulcan. That's I was I was like, someone is is half <laughs> half alien, half human. I couldn't remember. Oh, who that the was. zappers are going fast now. Oh yeah. What's your score up to? Like twelve. MMU men. G, 4 30 AM. Dude, thank oh. you for staying up. Yeah, this is where it gets you. really hard. Yeah. This is I hit it like eleven thousand. I couldn't oh. do it. I couldn't do it fast enough. This was the problem last time. It's just too fast for human to, to human react. Human brain, especially wine brain. Wine brain. Um, 
Ah! Oh. Now one more shot and I'm done. Wine and booster shot. <laughs> full of stuff. I'm full of stuff right now. It is very oh. fat. This is where it gets really hard. I was at it's around really cool. 11,000 and I just couldn't do it. I, I think the patch is 15 or something like that. Oh, I Very cool. Hard. Yes. Oh, it was a bad copy you downloaded. Oh, oh no. no. That sucks. Well, you got some playtime in. We got yep. him in yep. for a couple of rounds. Cosmic Arc, classic, as always. Great effects on it. Mm. Oh, you're kidding. Next game's actually two player. Simultaneous. It's fishing. So, mm -hmm. if you want to load up the fishes. Clerk. Fishing Derby by Fishing Derby. Clark. It was an excellent port. Yes. Yes, it's perfect. Like, yeah. it plays exactly like the 2600 mm. version. If you haven't tried it. It's by Glurk. This is first posted January 6th, oh, 2022. Nice. So you can play against the computer right now. Okay. Go for it. Press button. I don't oh, know what no. I'm doing. Press start. It's not couch compliant. So don't bring your fish up through the shark. Who am I? You're the left guy. Oh, I'm not doing well. What am I supposed to do? Press the button to get the fish. And you have to catch it in its mouth. And then bring it up. Oh, I see. And only one person can bring up a fish at a time. So you have to wait for him to finish his oh, fish. Oh, God. And then you can bring yours up. Or vice versa. So you have to wait. Wait for him to do it. There, you got it. Oh, I did? Yep. And the deeper the fish, the more points. So you can go fast and go dink, 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 dink. Or you can go deep and get more points. So this is originally written by David Crane. Uh, for Activision in 1980, one of his uh, early I'm Activision I'm confused titles. about when I bring it up, though. You have It just automatically comes up. But oh. if he's doing it, you can't. You oh, have to wait. Oh, I see. Yeah. And if you're doing it, he has to wait. It's because there's no okay. flicker. And if there is two fishes going up, nope. there would be Got flicker. It. And that's why. That's why that rule's in place. Not because it's a thing that they wanted to put in. It's just to prevent flicker. Was the original not couch compliant? Not this game. Um, the Imagic was, apparently. Oh, no, you got it. Oh, you got that one. Got some points. It's kind of hard because I have to wait until he's done. Yeah. And I don't know how long that's going to take. Well, you watch. He just got his fish and then yeah, it's Yeah, but it took a really long time for him to get it on his line. Yeah, sometimes it does. He's fishing for a low fish. Oh, you got that one. Yeah. Yeah, so in Fishing Derby, two fishermen sit on opposite docks over a lake filled with fish and a shark that passes through. Using the joystick, the player is able to move the fishing line left, right, up, down, kitten, in the water. When a fish is hooked, the line slowly comes up to the surface of the water. Pressing the fire button on the joystick reels in the fish faster. However, if both fishermen have hooked fish, only one person can reel it in. And the one who first hooked the fish. So I think the button only makes it go faster or slower. The cat is going crazy. Someone needs to feed this cat. Kitten, calm down. He's trying to find a way up to the treats. Hey, 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 hey you, come here, come here. Oh, he's bad, he's gonna jump. No, no, no. Oh, he got it. That's cool though. 99. I'm trying to figure out why they're, s s they're sitting fishing in their like sleeping clothes. <laughs> they're like PJs? They're one, one piece. They're onesies? They're onesies, yeah. <laughs> He's making his own treat time. He yes. is trying. He trying he was so hard. he was doing cat catculations to jump up to yeah. the printer. Yeah. Um, so you have to go to ninety nine. So we're gonna do a two player now. Okay. There we go. Ah, I've seen a Sonic ROM hack version of this game on Sega Genesis called Big's Fishing D Derby. Sonic. Pretty much it's a game of opportunity. So you want to get the fish you can get. If you want to go, if you go low, you get more points, right? Oh. But you also have to kind of time it up too with the shark and the opponent. So you can slow down by not pressing the button, right? shark he's just hanging hanging around he does that sometimes it's treat time yum 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 oh yum. it's treat time 
But we're in the middle of a game. Who did that? Phaser cat games. <laughs> we'll That's each, okay. We'll, we'll get them. We'll Once get... at the end, I mean, someone will get to 99. We'll, we'll get them right after. Whoever loses has yeah. to feed them. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. You'll get treat time soon. He's looking at us now. <laughs> He's like, uh, I, hello. I think it's treat Priorities. time. Priorities. Oh, all the fish are on your side. My fishing rod can't even I know, even go and over all there. the friggin' sharks on my side, too. Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Slow, slow, slow. There we go. Oh, not that fish. Come on, get the get that fish. Get that fish. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, slow, slow, slow. Shark, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Oh. It's close. It is close. Get out of here, shark. Oh, it's tied. I know, but he, the shark's on my side. Oh, no, you beat me. Come on, fish. There we go. Ugh. Why, shark, go away. <gasps> He's hanging around. <laughs> that shark. Oh, go away, shark. Oh, more, nine more points. Come on. Ah. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Two more points. Go away, shark. Go away, get it. Come on. No. Come on. No. Oh. Oh. So close. Yes. Oh, no. You have to feed kitties. Oh, that's okay. I like feeding the kitties. It's treat time. <laughs> Close. That was really close. <laughs> Thank you, Nostalgic. It yes. was a good game. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Oh, that's too much. No, no, no. no. You're not getting like half a thing of trade. So, Glurk posted on January 6th. I think it could have been a mistake to call this a work in progress, but maybe it is. It's playable in a messed up sort of fashion. Um, that was his first post. And then he said, posted, it's a huge pain to do this, and I kind of regret starting on this one. If things run one machine cycle too long, it all falls apart. Now I have to create graphics for the mm -hmm. shark and the fisherman, which I'm not good at pixel art, but I'm sure I can get it all working. And then, uh, then on January 12th, after TIX helped out the shark graphics, mm -hmm. said, okay, I can work quite quickly when I have what I need. Thanks to Tick's work, it's done. Finally, so tired of this one. <laughs> they didn't like that. Didn't like making this game. But it's it's a perfect rendition of of mm -hmm. the uh, fishing derby game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really fun too, actually. It's there, very fun with two players. There is a spam. Oh my goodness! Well, you have to do it. Me? Yeah. What do I do? Right click. No, nope, click on his name. No, nope, no. Nope. No, nope, click on his name. Not right click. There you go. Then go to the. Dot dot dot. Lock. Lock. Yeah. Lock. Did that get rid of him? No. That just blocks him for you. The the X, the line through the circle. That there you go. Bam. There we go. There All we good. go. Excellent. Thank you. Band. The pan hammer comes down. There you go. That's how you know it's a port of a 2600 game. Exactly. Nostalgia. <laughs> That's how 2600 works. It all falls apart if you go one cycle too long. It goes yeah. nuts. But I love the balance of this game. It's like, oh, you can go for the low fish. It takes longer. Um, the shark is in the way. You have mm -hmm. to wait for the other person to reel in their fish. Yeah. There's a lot going on. There's a lot you have to pay attention to. Yeah. Yeah. And you can slow down your rod reeling in by not pressing the button or go fast with the button. And it's such a simple, simple game. Oh, Glurk Vision. Nice. Cool. I like that. Oh, people can't see it. There, Glurk Vision <laughs> at the bottom. Super, super cool. One more? <laughs> that's, that's a good idea. That's how you get get them away from the uh from the area oh, yeah okay on to the last game of the night last game of the night is frostbite <gasps> that's exciting which is a super fun game so if you could load it up please where is the is it? Yeah. wherever you put it um this is made by glurk 
It's called Frostbite 400, actually. Um, uh, this is from December 28th. It's an 8K game. Actually, the last one was an 8K game. And the one before, they were all 8K games. Um, so, you know how to play this game? Start. Uh, yeah, I remember. Okay. So, you build your igloo by jumping on the ice flow. Don't jump on not the ice flow. Don't get pushed off the ice oh. flow. Oh, do you jump? You can't jump side to side. Okay. You can jump down or up. You can shuffle side to side. And you can actually press the button to reverse the ice flow if you Yeah, don't get don't oh. touch the birds. You can't I un this in a while. You can't, <laughs> you can't untouch the birds but I thought either. There's no jumping. Oh you can you can reverse make it the ice reverse flow. it. Yeah. Uh... But it costs you um, a degree in um, coldness. And once you get to zero you freeze. Yeah, you're in trouble. Uh, two ga two player games are always funner to play. That is correct, Vitoko, because AI can only go so far, especially on older systems. Oh, it's all built. Get your igloo. Oh, I see. Okay. And then you get points for the igloo, and they you get. You like this game? I know. Oh, yeah. I've seen you play this game. And you get points for how many, how fast you do it, which is the. And you can eat the fish. Can you? Yeah. How? So you can touch the fish. Um, so what Glurk said, okay, I think I've knocked this out one in, uh, oh. knocked this out one in, knocked one, knocked this one out in time. Maybe a few <laughs> hours late. It's the Atari 2600 Frostbite for the Atari 8-bit. What do I play? I'm calling, uh, start. I'm calling it Frostbite 400. Okay. I like those buttons better than the Commodore 64s. Because the Commodore 64 had F1 through F7, right? Oh, okay. This one has, like, start. That's what it's for. It's for starting a game. It's labeled properly, but on the other hand, the function keys can be anything. Um, same story as Barnstorming Port. I think Activision might have released if they had done so. Same game as the 2600 with slight graphics improvements. Mm. Not sure which graphics he changed. Maybe the bear when it comes. We haven't seen the bear yet. Um, so... Frostbite's a 1983 action game designed by Steve Cartwright for the Atari 2600. Um, combining elements of Frogger and Cubert in mm -hmm. an Arctic setting. Help Frostbite Bailey build igloos by jumping on ice floe. Thwarting this endeavors are clams, snow geese, Alaskan king crabs, polar bears, and rapidly dropping temperatures. Charles Wheeland isn't good at this either. No, I'm not very good at this game. <clears throat> it can be very challenging. But also at the same time, if you see an expert player play it, oh, it's, it's insane. Unbelievable. They're like do 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 crazy crazy jumping. Um <clears throat> My f when we and really really early um up 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 Oh, birds coming to get the, you. The birds push you off. Yeah, um, an early stream that we did a long time ago uh, with my friend Corey. This is one of this probably is his favorite twenty six hundred game, and he's really good at this game. So what he did is set uh, apparently a a, a a record on this game. He oh, got, like, really? <laughs> in tenth place or something? Uh, some record on some website. Not probably a world record, but. A record somewhere where we looked up high scores wow. he did really well like it oh, was really? so fast you couldn't even tell what was going on the screen it was like <laughs> things were flying by the patch for this is really easy actually <laughs> it's quite low i think i got the patch the first time i oh, played it i can't move when the bird's pushing me no i told you that early no. bird touches you you're done oh you cannot touch no the i didn't bird. realize that so what is the patch score for this? Terrible. Let's see. Does anybody have it handy? Frostbite, <sighs> HTML. Uh, oh god. Forty thousand. Forty thousand. Yeah. So I think really? I got the patch the first game I played on the stream because <laughs> I'd played it a lot because 
Corey played it a lot, so I played it a lot at his house when when, when I, would, you were I would go over to his house, right? Little, little when I was a teenager. I think I'm screwed. Mm, I can't jump, yeah. can I? You're, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm screwed. you're screwed. Yeah. Put, it, put yourself in a difficult position. Interesting. I'm sure there's a pattern to this. Like, there's an easy way to... Oh, yeah. Uh, Phaser Cat Game says, The polar bears from Thin Ice on the Intellivision will always own my heart. Yeah, I haven't played that game. It does look good. Get your igloo. Get that igloo. This is one of the first patches I got on the show, actually. Because mm, before I was even I remember doing that. patches, I think. It was very early show. Don't watch the early shows. <laughs> They're so basic and the quality of the stream is very bad mm. yeah because you reverse the ice flow of the one you're on by pressing the button so you can get them all in sync like you have them which is can be very difficult or easy actually oh, God. thin ice is sort of like kicks but with penguins mm, okay that's cool do you like kicks? And uh, Champ Games is doing an awesome version of kicks. Did you? Do you guys in Canada use Celsius or Fahrenheit for temperature? Very we use Celsius. Very Celsius. Yes. For height of a person, there's this awesome we chart a... you got to look up oh. online for measurements in Canada. It's not all metric. No. <laughs> we do a huge mix of weirdness. Those uh, things kill me? Yeah. And they do. Everything but the fish. <sighs> things things that are good. So we met what do we measure not in Height. Height yeah. and weight. Yes, height and weight. Mm. And cooking. Um, cups. We use cups we all use the cups, time. We use cups but milliliters as well in um recipes have both usually. Like, a cup is 250 milliliters. Yeah, so yeah. we do go back and forth. We're yeah. pretty good with milliliters. But, but body measurements oh, hi is 100%. always height in inches and feet and weight in pounds. But other than that, I would say most of it's metric. Yeah. Canadian football, I think. Oh, we don't know anything about 110-yard field, yes. <laughs> Tanya knows more than I do. Well, I don't know a lot. I don't watch a lot of football, but yes. <laughs> I know that some of the rules are a little different. Yeah. Curling rings are measured in feet. <laughs> oh, really? That's very I'm strange. surprised by that, but so am I. I mean, I mean, curling Scottish, is it originally? Oh, that polar bear is so cute. It is. Oh, clearly, no. clearly, Don't. I have not been running, jumping around a lot because you're jumping around quite a bit. No, what am I doing? I don't know how I got the patch. <laughs> yes, you do. You get chomped on. Chomped on. He has a tasty snack. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah. This should be a penguin, too. That'd be a good hack for it. Here's a question. How many people in the chat have actually curled before? No. Have you curled? No, no, no. I've curled. We used to have a curling tournament at work, which is weird. No. Oh, my God. I can't believe I survived that. And very Canadian. But yes. it's not something I think a lot of people actually do. No, curling? Do you have to have special oh, equipment? Oh, Phaser Cat Games was in a curling league for a while. Um, oh. Sorry, say that again? You have to have special equipment, right? Like well, e e there there are curling shoes, but you can kind of get oh, away dang. with just using little... Um, something you like can put a shoe shoes. on. Yeah. like I've, I, Our tournament was not for people who played it very frequently, uh, so they gave right. you something that you can put your, your shoe on when you're playing. Oh, nostalgic. I have not, but there's a curling area where I lived 
where I live at opened a few years ago and I'm not in Canada. That's interesting. Mm. Curling is actually a really fun sport. It reminds me of other kind Damn of... Damn it! Oh, no. Other similar games because it's quite um, strategic. It's quite a str strategic game, and it, but it also is quite... It's a lot more physical than you think it's going to be. Mm, really? Oh, yeah. God, yeah. It's a lot of ah. strength because you're holding your body position when you're throwing the rock and then you're sweeping. You actually... It's actually very tiring. Very tiring to yeah. play. Yeah, for sweeping. Probably the not sweeping. the thrower. Right? No, the throwing too, because you're like holding. Really? You're like in. You're like in um, a lunge when you throw the rock. You have mm -hmm. to hold a position when you throw the rock. Why? So it's it's a little bit surprising how um, physical a game it is. You wouldn't expect it to be. It doesn't look like it is. I enjoyed it a lot, actually. <laughs> It's one of those funny games where you're like, oh, yeah, I can get I can get the appeal of people playing this game. Ah, what oh, no. happened? Ugh. Game is the game's controls are so <laughs> good. Like like for hopping around. Ah they're so fluid once you're really good at watch an expert player at this like go on youtube and just watch an expert play. they're like trust me like, i hate the bear on this game they're yeah. jumping half the screen almost yeah. one more for you I'm sure you'll do better this time sure so i didn't get the patch <laughs> but if i played it again i'd probably do better i will not do well you do much better on this game than i do it's very forgiving if you like jump past a bird. Like the only time the bird hits you is if your feet are on the ice flow. So you have to think about that. You can jump through a bird. It's not about touching the bird. It's about your feet on the ice flow when a bird hits you. Yeah. So you have a lot more leeway than you think you have. Going for the Glurk Vision patch. Uh, no, no, we're not. I've already got this patch. We're just playing the game. Um, so Glurk has done three oh, Atari 2600 uh, conversions. Oh, you ran out of uh, yeah. temperature. That's very Well, unusual, you move actually. really fast, and I don't move very fast right, at all. Your thing's done. You can go in. Oh. No. Oh, I hit the bird. Up, up to the left. It's okay. So what he was asking what game he should do next. Oh, hmm. Um, let's see. What was the one I was thinking of? Uh, that... Oh, what was it? I would like him to do Mega Mania. That would be a fun one. If he's doing Activision. But I, I don't think he's limiting himself to Activision. Just any 2600 game. Sequest. Pressure cooker. Oh, pressure cooker. I did get the patch for that, so I don't need to play pressure cooker anymore. That's such a hard, hard game to get the patch for. Oh my god. Um, Sequest is very easy to get the patch for. So easy. That was one of the easier ones. Oh, nine, eight. But it's a fun game. Sequest is super fun. Mm. It's very similar to this with the, is that the, the subs going by. Oh. Your diver? That's not the dolphin one, then. Uh, no, that's dolphin. Oh, God. Called dolphin. Dolphin's hard. Oh, my God. I haven't got the patch for that. Oh, my God. Dolphin makes my brain hurt. <laughs> oh, you, can't, you can't walk across. No. The no, little no. ones you can. When they're not moving, the little ones you can. Oh, you want more? No, it's okay. You okay. You're doing much better. <laughs> very, very easy patch. Which yeah. is the dolphin game? Is that dolphin? dolphin? Yeah. Okay. I'll do one more of this. James is much better at this game. We play this a lot, obviously, as a kid. Yeah. I mean, you just keep jumping. Like, you have quite a bit of latitude left and right. Yeah. When you jump, so you just have to keep moving. Like, this is easy. These are, like, full platforms. Mm. Yeah, this one is quite a bit easier. I like, think. I don't need to stop. You can do the no. whole thing on level two. Yeah. Yeah, the bear in this game is... Got most of my lives actually in the last game. Ugh. So 
we might have to get a PS5. No, why? The sequel to, um... Nope. Horizon Zero Dawn is coming out soon. Is that on Steam? I don't know. I'll have to if see. If it's on Steam, then there's no excuse. We're not getting That's any nice more thinking. consoles. <laughs> They're just computers now. That's They have no specialty apart well, from the computer. Well, they have a 4K Blu-ray, so <laughs> the no. really expensive one. They're much cheaper to get a good I 4K Blu-ray by itself. Horizon Zero Dawn's a good game, though. Oh, yeah, it is. It was excellent. Very nice. Can you even find one? Well, that is <laughs> that's a good point, actually. It is not easy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, <gasps> uh. Jumped right into him. Oh, it wasn't even done? Or was I? You were, you oh, are it disappears. Done. You are oh, done. Oh, weird. That disappears when you... <gasps> what are you doing? Just wait. <sighs> Getting killed by bears constantly. Bear deaths. Bear death. You're a Canadian. You should know better. <laughs> than bear deaths? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of a shame. Sony lost me. Yeah. Well, we have a I PS4. I just want Horizon Zero Dawn. That's all. It's a great game. Oh, I jumped. Flies. Not doing as well. Ah, I thought I could make it. The bird was right after me. I gave up on finding a PS5. Wow. I, I don't, I don't, I haven't really been following, like, the PS5 woes people have had. No. Because uh, we haven't been looking for a console. We have a Switch, and we're happy with that right now. We have a yep. PS4. Limited run games keeps me healthy in the PS4 games. That's true. And they, they release Switch games, too, so there's tons of Switch games. Yeah, I would have been a day one purchase. Yeah. I think it's going to be Steam, as you say, from now on. But Because yeah, um, it's all digital anyway. We just don't have a great way to play them yet. Not yet. No. We will. Oh, yeah. We are upgrading our home system. Yes. So that we can play them. Taking advantage of some of those Canadian Boxing Day sales. Uh, did we? I don't, I don't know. Did you? Did. No. Oh, not really. That's, that's we just, sad. I just looked for stuff. I was just doing research. Oh, did we? I think we did. I don't I know. I think you did. Ah! Oh my god. Oh, <gasps> I was safe and then I killed myself. So we're upgrading to all 4K stuff and Dolby Atmos and all the good, all the cool things. Yeah, the yeah. T good TV stuff. Yep. Um, so the amp just came today, or the receiver. Receiver, because um, you have an older receiver upstairs. Eh, it's not bad. It does 5.1 or 7.1 or something, but it doesn't do Dolby Atmos. Steam Deck is very intriguing. Sorry, uh, Flipscreen yeah. for saying. It is intriguing. It's portable, so you can yeah. play, you know, play on the go and have all your games still there. Yeah, intriguing, I think, is the right word. Spencer. Because obviously certain games you can't, it's mm. not going to be suitable for, but... No. <gasps> no. Yeah, I can't go up to the level of but, um, super crazy awesome, but I think you do a lot, though. Yeah. Oh my Mind God. you with... Oh, my God. Oh, no, he's coming for you. Oh, oh no. no. That was, that was very unlikely. Tragic. Um, yeah. Steam Deck's cool. It it's, is cool. It's, it's I do like think a that's Switch cool. yeah. for Steam. Yeah, we don't have a worthy uh, PC for either. And now, nowadays, with chips being hard to find, well, I, I of, think it's hard to even build a worthy PC. Ah, 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 ah. How come I couldn't switch yes, the ice floor? You'll have a 4K TV to play your 4K Atari games on. <laughs> that's right. All zero of them. Or 4K, yeah. Yeah. Good. Uh -oh. That's always a joke that people say. Like four kilobyte games, not 4K I games. I know, I know, I know. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> 4K, not for capital K. Yeah. Yes. Um, no, no. But yes, we, ah! ah, he's dragging you off to his den. Did a little better. That's pretty good. Almost thirty thousand. Yep. Ultra H H eight the Ultra HD Blu-ray player. Yes, too. I am a going 4K. to get one. But I was I was saying I don't trust the streaming services not to <laughs> yank away movies from me. That's true. Because they do. They do 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 yep. that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, you can press the button to shift the ice, but not forever. I guess I, guess I should have read the manual. Yeah. <laughs> manuals Pfft. who reads manuals so another really good translation i forgot i was playing 
on an Atari 8-bit computer. Mm. So these are all the conversions that maybe people were like, oh, I wish Activision made this game for the Atari 8-bit system. Yeah. RC70 is asking us if we uh, yes. watched Home Catch Fire. We went and to watch it the other day. No joke. Over Christmas, we're like, oh, what do we want to watch? Oh, we should finish that series or finish at least the season we were watching. Yep. And we went on and we're like, oh, it's only on like Prime Video Pay Channel, Stars something. or something stars, like that. Stars, yeah. And we're like, oh. So, so we did no, miss we didn't it. get through it all. We tried to watch Hopefully it. Hopefully it'll s cycle back around and, and we'll get to see it when yeah. it's free again. So we were trying to, but we missed it. And, and so that, like, case like, in point. It might have been on January 1st we went looking for it and it probably got yes. pulled in when January, we, when we were which sucks. So not doing anything and we're I looking. torrented it after I left. Ah. Yeah. yeah, we might have to do something like that. Maybe. Yeah. No, we won't. I mean. We don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that. Actually, we haven't. Not in a long time. Years and years and years and years and years and years. Because... You can access you most can get things. lots yeah, of things. But it's now true. You, there's lots of memes popping up going, hmm, people putting back on their pirate hats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As, like yeah. they're showing... They, the, the meme or the, the little cartoon joke is... It shows Netflix and then people are like, oh, I can put this away for... I can put the pirate hat away, right? Yeah. And then the next panel is like 20 different services. It's and they're so like true. reaching for the pirate yeah, hat Yeah, the pirate again. hat's coming back. Like, uh, yeah, because yeah. it's bad. Yeah, it is. Because you're like, oh, now I have to pay more than my cable service used to be to get 20 services at eight ninety nine each. I know, like, I know. It's gone bad again. Yeah. Thank you, Dan. Yes. So <sighs> what's coming up? is we have one more show before we go into award season. Um, I don't know what we're going to be playing yet. Mm. Things have slowed down after the new year. But some people are starting to pick up and play, uh, make some more, develop some more games. Um, so we'll see what we're going to be playing on Tuesday on mm. the show. Um, but then on next Friday is the nominee reveal for the fourth annual Atari Homebrew Awards. And the voting will start. So we're going to be playing all the games that are nominated. Every single game. From that point forward. Except Lynx. Cause, well, get a Lynx emulator. You can emulate yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so the first day we're going to be playing Atari 2600 uh, completed original imports mm -hmm. games. And then going through 2600, 7800 another day, another 7800 day. And then the 50, 8, 8 bit 5200 and Lynx and Atari packaging on the last day. Mm. And then one show. That, that show probably won't actually even happen. I, that shouldn't be there. Because then I'm getting ready for the award show mm. on February 12th, which is a show you don't want to miss because we'll have on the developers mm. giving live, I don't know, speeches, <laughs> saying thank you to all the people that uh, voted for them. Uh, we'll be dressed up. Um, Atari, will you be dressed up as well? He's always dressed up. He's he in is. his. He's in his fancy formal clothes. attire. His formal attire. We'll try and put on a little bow. We don't have a red carpet, but uh, we also don't show our feet on the show, so <laughs> that's you wouldn't true. know. We can say we have a red carpet. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. Yep, playthroughs. Well, no, we'll be playing them. Yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of games. So yeah. we're more more like revisiting. Them yeah, because. You know, on the first day, it's Atari 2600 completed original and completed ports. So that's 12 games. So it's pretty fast paced. Oh, red carpet for the kitten cam. Oh, oh we can have the, the yes. cat trotting down the red carpet. Oh, yes. Can flash some light bulbs. Yeah, you some. just need to put a treat at the end of the carpet and he'll run across it. So. <laughs> That'd be put, cool. Put the bell at the end of the carpet. That'd be so Shh, cute. Ding. <laughs> for an opener. Yeah. Have Atari trot down a red carpet. Yeah. And with flashes going off in the background. <laughs> I can do that. I, all I need is a red carpet. Yeah, we And be hard to, to do to that find. for the opening. And he just can, need a little can have red him carpet. running across the screen. Yeah. Oh, that'd be so cute. <laughs> Where can I get red carpet? Or red fabric. Anything. Yeah. yeah. Just, we'll figure just something a red. Out. Or I can just green screen it and then make it red. True. <laughs> we, can, uh, we can find hey, something. We can make that work. Want that Atari? Yeah. Kitten cam? Yeah. Oh, he's giving us eyes. Giving yeah. Us eyes. Actually, he's looking for treats, but that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, come here. So that is what's coming up, so you don't want to miss that. Um, oh, that's going to be great. Doing all, going through all the nominees. Oh, yeah. 
That'll be oh, a lot of fun. Oh, there he is. Green, green carpet, carpet magic. magic yeah. Carpet. yeah. So thanks for hanging in with us, everyone, yeah. and to all the new people, because there's a lot of a lot new names. Of people jumping in, which was really cool. To see, uh, to play yeah. with us, new names playing with us as well. That was really cool. Um, so thank you to um, also 8-Bit Dude for making that awesome game and helping me set get getting things set up to play live 8-Bit Slicks. That was really cool. Mm-hmm. And everybody else who played. Uh, so thank you, Captain Classic, RC70, Nostalgic26, Arena Foot, Charles Whelan, Dan, ABC, um, Atari2600 Dude, uh, Caffman 2D, Blip Squeak, Charles Whelan, uh, Analog1975, Phaser Cat Games, Vitoko, uh, who else is I here? Have... Who else? Metal Lunar Seven. Yes. Oh, wants to get away. Oh, I know. I'm Mike trying to Soul. cuddle him. Or, or Ordo ne Necro, who I Ordo think. Ordo Necro. Who, yep. uh, who subscribed? Followed. Followed. Subscribe. Oh, thank you so yes, much. Yes, thank you for subscribing. Yeah. Uh, Ivory Tower Collection. MMU Man. Yep. Who stayed up to four thirty a.m. I know. Whew, that's okay. hardcore, man. Calm down, Kitty. Oh, he wants to get away. <laughs> uh, who else? What other names are in here? Okay. Tower collection. I don't know. Oh, we you... said that. Did you? Yep. Lots of people dude. today. Yeah. Oh, Marco, Marco Twitch. Five, yeah. five five five. And that's the. Oh, end Mike list. Soul popping Mike in at the Soul. end. Carl G. Yep. Happy Kitty. Well, I don't know about so happy. Yeah. Are you happy? No, he's he's over For there with minutes. his angry tail. Yeah. <laughs> um, why so... did you? Why did you grab? So, good night, everybody. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. And uh, we will see you on Tuesday mm -hmm. at the same time, 6 p.m. So, we'll see you then. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good night. Have a good, night. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>